Ooh, what is up you guys, and thank you for joining for our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Tess Garander. And today we got ourselves a match against Braum, a passerby actually, and um, not much to it. I mean, it was a very good battle, and uh, I did enjoy it a lot, so it, I definitely feel that it's upload of worthy. Uh, he's definitely using the generic stuff, being Jarazod, Vaporeon, Meanwhile, Trevenant, that pesky Gliscor, and Scrotum Wash. Yeah, uh, very tough pokes to deal with here. I'm myself using Hillelisk, uh, Gigalith, Darmanitan, Cabotops, Melodic, and um, Sesmetode. I should introduce this team because this is actually an older team that I used. Uh, stopped using it once the tier was introduced, but really want to try it out again. Uh, Hillelisk is, uh, of course, the dry skin set with Surf, uh, Volt Switch, uh, I think it got Hidden Power Ice, actually, and Dog Pulse. And Gigalith is Smackdown, Earthquake, Rest, Stealth Rock, so. It's actually, I made it as counter Skarmory's way back, and it still works very well against Gliscos. Uh, it's, it's very fun to use, and Darmanitan is a choice band instead of Scarf, because people expect Scarf. So, I really love being choice banded, and Cabotops is just Cabotops. Uh, Malolic is Dragon Tail Toxic, and my Sesmetode is Special Offensive, because people aren't expecting that. So, it, it's definitely a mind game. <laughs> team and it works fairly well and this game was really really close so let's actually get to it so at the start that I did actually expect uh, either it could bring the glide score or the rolling wash so I'm just gonna bring the salad in and he do fortunately go for the Washington so I'm just gonna focus for Volt Switch I am spec so you definitely lucky for me that he did it switch into glide score uh, and I'm just gonna bring in my Lazard assessment tower because I do wall the shit out of um, the Volt Switch and I do absorb the water damage. So the only thing that hits me is the Will Wisp and luckily for me I am the special offensive one so I can come in here and finish things off. That that crit might have mattered, might have, since it got the light screen up. But really, a new this set is really, really uh, walling it out and it's amazing just because of that. So anyway, Darmanitan is gonna come in here because I can't take a Horn Leaf from the from the Trevenant, he sees right through that, just going for Reflect. I myself just gonna go for U-turn because I know we don't want to switch or stay into that. So I'm taking this opportunity to go into my Gigalith. Even if he was, you know, the Jarzard X, he still wouldn't have been able to really do anything against my Gigalith because he's actually hyper defensive with investment in HP. So I just went for a Smackdown and luckily for me he did go into his Gorgol, the pesky, terrible and kind of awesome Gliscor. So, yeah, this is actually a situation which I'm not fond of. I mean, I still can deal with it, but when the Reflect is up, my Earthquake is not even denting it. But the thing is here that the situation is as follows, that he still is forced to, um, you know, being able to attack me. He has yet to see that I rest. So I'm just gonna um, actually just head on face him here and not switch out, because I know I can take an Earthquake. And now the Reflect is off. I definitely know I can break the sub and hopefully be able to uh, take him out. So, yeah, that, that is basically the situation at the moment. He do want to stall me out here, and since my HP got such a low, I'm not sure I can take two earthquakes after that, so I'm just going to go for rest here, showing him that um, you can do whatever you want, bro, I'm here to stay. Uh, of course, three earthquakes is definitely in the range of taking me out, but I don't think... He will waste a lot of PP and it will be a very, very slow game, so he decides to switch out and I do appreciate that. Because uh, this is definitely like a lockdown for the both of us, even though he win that lockdown, of course. So I go for the Earthquake here and of course the Trevenant is going to wall that out and there is no means for me to actually do anything. So I'm just going to go into Trigman just again, my Darmanitan, and I go for Lead Seed. And yeah, shit. <laughs> that is actually terrifying. So... Of course, I don't really want to uh, give the post HP back, and you gotta see right through that, but I actually decided to go for Flare Blitz anyway. And of course, this is gonna destroy the Jarzard in combination with, um, of course, the Stealth Rocks. So I'm losing HP really fast here, and I really just felt that I probably should, you know, switch out. But then again, you know, he's probably gonna see through that, so I'd rather go for Flare Blitz. But like I said, it is Choice Bandit. So I was hoping that he was going to overpredict and not go for the earthquake. And um, I think it's fared very nicely here. And of course, he could still go for protect here and trying to wall me out. The toxic will wear me down, and he will actually release his combination. Being a fair 
fair range here, but I really didn't feel to switch out because the situation I'm in right now is not that favorable, so I'd rather get a safe switch in instead. And of course, Toxic will almost take me out here, so I know I'm, I at least can go for one more Flare Blitz, and I know he can't take that, so he's gonna switch out to Tsunami, his Vaporeon, and look at this, guys. I mean, resistant damage, yeah, sure, doesn't look like it. <laughs> so of course that will destroy my Darmanitan. And like I said, the combination with Toxic Elite Seed, I really didn't feel that it was worth, you know, staying around and trying to do that. So here Selen comes in, I do expect him to switch out to his Gorgol. He actually decides to stay in, and since I am um, the spec set, I cannot switch out at this moment, so I'm definitely screwed at this point. I'm locked into Surf, and I'm just gonna heal him up. And yeah, nice play by my opponent to stay in there. Definitely frustrating to be honest. So he goes for Jorn here, I was actually hoping to go for a Wish, or I mean a Toxic, but at this point, no way, I'm not gonna risk being asleep here. And um, He's just going to bring Saladin yet again. He will actually go for the Trevenant, which is not a bad play, but... I know I can go for a Dark Pulse at this moment, and it will destroy the Trevenant. Don't underappreciate Heliobisk. Even though it is unstabbed, it's still so goddamn strong. So, I do expect him to go for even a knockoff, maybe a Brick Break at this point, and, or a Low Kick. So, I'm just going to go with Gigalith. I know I can take it. I mean, not well, of course, but I know I can take it. And I wouldn't have mind if I lost... I haven't still lost my item, so um, the knockoff wouldn't have done as much. So I'm just gonna go for Smackdown, because it is the safest play to me to do. And let's just deal with it. I mean, of course, it does fair damage here, and... Um, Earthquake will also do fair damage. So he will just stall me out, of course. Which is what Gliascos do. And bring in that Poison Heal back. Oh my god, this Pokemon is so terrifying to deal with. So he's gonna go for a sub, I'll easily just go for an earthquake. He's basically just stalling me out there for PP, and uh, that, that is actually really frustrating. So he just almost recovers as much as, um, as the substitute is uh, taking damage from him. And my earthquake will actually fell short here. Uh, I was able to break the sub, sure, but I mean, I'm probably, you know, just about to break it. I don't think I can actually be able to deal with this situation in the long run here. So I'm just gonna go to Kaput, my Kaputops. And uh, yeah, this set is basically the set I've been using on my other Wiper battles. It just, this is a Squid Swim instead of um, the, how was it called? The Weak Armor. So I do expect him, I, I wanna break this up. So I'm just gonna go for Aqua Jet. And after this, I'm going to expect him to go for Protect. Um, trying to stall me out. So he goes to that Earthquake and yeah, that is actually very frustrating. Like I said, I do expect him to go for the Protect here and try to wall it out. So I'm actually going to go for Sword Stance, because I know that is my definitely best bet, and I'm definitely, I need everything to actually be able to deal with this. And of course, he's going to switch out to Vaporeon, but really, I had no means of doing anything else, to be honest. And of course, he's going to wall that out, and um, at this position, I was just hoping for a flinch, at best. And look at this, it does some fair damage, and uh, yeah, you want it, perfect, isn't it? So anyway, I knew he was probably going to switch back to his Glide score, and I know Rock Slide actually does more than I get with Stab involved, so I'm pretty sure I can take it out anyway, and luckily for me, I am able to do just that, because had I not, I would be in a position where Hillis will definitely be the only thing that's going to be able to deal with it, and he still got the Vaporeon that walled out the water damage, and well... Now I'm asleep. So that sucks. But the thing is, he could go for a Scald, maybe take me out, it's not its not a guarantee. But he goes for a Wish and trying to recover. But I only have one turn sleep, so fuck you. Mm, you're done. <laughs> so yeah, the only Pokemon he's got left is the Meanwhile, and it definitely won't be able to take an Aqua Jet. So uh, to the Passive by Braum, thank you so much for this battle. It really came to show here that um, this team still holds up. The combination of this team really... It can deal with a lot of things and... Um, not too sure if Darmanitan is my you know, cup of tea as a Pokemon because it's it's too generic for me. But as it stands on a, on a pressuring and physical side point, it definitely holds up. And uh, yeah, those kills and self rocks. And that Gigalith, what an awesome combination. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching this battle. Um, like I said, there, this was definitely something I just want to really try out to my old teams. Um, it is... 
how to put it, to be very honest here. It's not the way I play today, but as a competitive standpoint, this team really stood out because it could deal with a lot of things that were very, very common way back. And of course, the hidden power heal list with um, the ice typing is really, it deal dealt with a lot of uh, guard chomps way back there. And uh, it still holds up, and I'm, I'm very glad to see that it did just that. Um, but yeah, probably not the way I play today, and uh, definitely came to show also that it is very, very predictable, even though it is hard hitting, uh, and I'm I'm not too proud of playing like this. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I'm glad to pull this off. Really, I am. And hopefully, you guys are gonna see my new team on Thursday. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, guys, you know, thank you for always for the support, and don't forget to leave a like and stuff like that. And uh, have a good day. All right, guys, get here. Bye.